So my name is uh, Stuart Cleary. I'm the Director of Product Marketing for our media and software delivery business at Akamai. So Stuart, we were talking a little bit about uh, Akamai's infrastructure. Most of our uh, readers are familiar with a little bit with Akamai and what it does. Uh, maybe you could tell, tell us a little bit about what goes into uh, uh, Akamai's infrastructure and, and where it lives. Absolutely. So um, last year we, we launched essentially a, a service, a brand new service called the Akamai HD Network. And that HD network leverages uh, a massive server infrastructure of around 61,000 servers that are deployed worldwide. Our approach to architecture of our network is actually quite different to how other providers uh, have gone about building out their network. What we have done essentially is deployed um, those 61,000 servers in uh, approximately 1,000 ISP networks uh, around the globe. So what we've done essentially is rather than have the restricted or uh, limited data center approach or just deploying servers within what I'll call a tier one ISP, is we've actually deployed those 61,000 servers um, in the tier one ISPs, but also down at the edge ISPs, so those local and regional ISPs. And the goal there was to get servers and ultimately content as close to the consumer as possible. And actually uh, getting around that middle mile bottleneck that exists between the data center or tier one ISP and those edge based networks. So by having that infrastructure, that design, which is essentially a, uh, a highly distributed network, allows us to do that. For the HD network, uh, the deployment and architecture is very similar. Uh, so what we have is a massive network um, deployed globally in those tier one, tier two, tier three ISPs that allows us to deliver very, very high quality video. Uh, if you're talking about live video, uh, we have customers that are encoding up to three and a half megabits per second for live uh, at 720p. And then also some customers that are distributing on-demand content that are encoding actually up to 10 megabits per second, 1080i, true high-definition um, video. Now, to be able to deliver those bit rates and to deliver them to what we call broadcast scale audiences demands that you have that scale of infrastructure within your network. Hence, the architecture and design of our network um, marries itself very, very well to be able to deliver high bit rate content to broadcast uh, scale audiences. So there's a couple of things at play in terms of why now, why launch the HD network now? And I touched on those a little. Number one is content providers are actually encoding at slightly uh, ever increasing bit rates of content. So no longer are they encoding at that lowest common denominator bit rate, uh, but they're encoding at multiple bit rates. Again, the example I gave for live, three and a half, megabits per second for, for the Olympics that we just did on Silverlight, it was 3.4 megabits per second. And then for certain customers are in uh, encoding up to 10 megabits uh, per second. So higher bit rates with more consumers going online than ever before for live and on-demand content requires an infrastructure uh, to scale. Second to that is having features such as interactive features such as DVR or PVR depending on what part of the world you're in and multi-camera angle. So the ability to be able to enable those kinds of features that prove to be very, very sticky and have very high adoption rates where deployed, for DVR we've seen 80% adoption. For features like multi-camera angle for live events, we've seen 90% of uh, adoption uh, on consumers that actually use these features. So again, in that scenario, with those interactive features at higher bit rates at massive scale, it can be very complex to deliver that from an infrastructure perspective. And the HD network allows us to do that. It gives us exponentially more capacity uh, to deliver that high bit rate content at broadcast audience scale. What it is, the HD network is a single unified network uh, for the delivery of high quality video content to the most common runtime environments. Today, that supports Flash, Silverlight, and to devices like the iPhone and the iPad. Obviously, the unique aspect of Flash is Flash has traditionally been delivered uh, over a proprietary FMS network and over the proprietary protocol, or TMP. What we're doing with the HD network is actually delivering Flash content over HTTP. And what we announced uh, today, kind of the second generation um, uh, 
of delivery of flash content over HTTP is support for a new standard from Adobe called Adobe HTTP Dynamic Streaming. And what Akamai announced is that we will add support by integrating uh, features into the HD network that will allow our customers to use that new standard and adopt that new standard from Adobe to deliver flash-based content over HTTP. Now, typically what that would require, this new standard, is customers to repackage their existing flash content into a new container called F4F. Now, for customers or content providers that have even a moderately sized video library, this could have uh, significant workflow challenges, right. logistical challenges, right? It's a lot of work just to get there. Exactly, a lot of work to get their content to that new standard. What Akamai is doing that is unique is that we have optimized F4F packaging technology built into the HD network. So customers and content providers can just send us their existing containers, and we will actually automatically repackage them in our network to this new standard and deliver it out to the Flash runtime environment. Second to that, what Adobe, what Adobe has also rolled out is Adobe Flash Access, which is a new content protection uh, solution for securing content that is delivered using this new standard. So the second piece to what Akamai uh, announced is support for doing encryption of the content also in the network. So the customer or the content provider does not have to worry about encrypting the content because we will encrypt it in the network uh, before it is actually delivered from our edge servers out to the flash runtime environment. And that's really what's unique is that we're requiring the content provider make no changes to their workflow, continue sending us their existing flash content, we'll repackage it, to the new standard and the new container F4F, we will encrypt it and then we will deliver it out to the flash runtime. And this is all being done on the Akamai HD network and uh, is a very unique approach that we're taking that just eliminates that pain or work that would otherwise be required to repackage and encrypt the content. And it helps to have 61,000 servers. And it helps when you have a massive infrastructure to be able to do that. <laughs>